Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Next One's Network. I'm your host, Official Romp, and we are here for another Sideline Stories. And today, we will be focusing on Josh Reeves. He has a pretty crazy story. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first thing you have to know about his story is during his life, he has faced a lot of obstacles. And the first one occurred when he was just six years old, where his father unexpectedly passed away. And as you could imagine, that was incredibly tough for him to get over. But luckily, before his father passed away, he was one of the reasons of why Josh fell in love with the game of basketball. He said in an interview, I remember every day after school, we would just play basketball for hours. Just me, him, and my brother just shooting on the court outside for hours. But now we are going to fast forward a little bit to his high school career where once again he faced an obstacle and that was whether he wanted to play soccer or basketball. Now even though his first love was basketball, he was really struggling at the time and he wasn't struggling with soccer. He said in an interview, my freshman year was a really bad time for me. I was kind of away from home and the one sport that I truly did care about wasn't going anywhere. I was really contemplating quitting basketball and just playing soccer. But luckily one of his biggest supporters convinced him not to quit and of course that was his mother. He said in an interview, I remember talking to her after one of my games and she was talking to me and being supportive. I just kept pushing and kept fighting and I'm here now. I wouldn't be here without her. I probably wouldn't be playing basketball still if it wasn't for her. So thank you to the mother of Josh Reeves because this is one of my favorite stories. Anyway, let's move on. Eventually, through hard work and dedication, after transferring to Oak Hill and absolutely killing it during his senior season, he finally got the recognition he deserved and he got offers from Penn State, Temple, Villanova, Maryland, Virginia Commonwealth, and even Georgetown. But the first college I said, that is where he decided to go, and that was, of course, Penn State. When asked about finally getting some recognition, he said in an interview, I didn't expect any of it. I was just playing basketball and just having fun, and I was just trying to find that joy again because I lost it for a little bit earlier in my career. That's when I finally realized I was getting interest from colleges. And now we move on to his impressive career at Penn State, where he was named to the all-defensive Big Ten team two times, and he was also in a thousand point scorer, um, the 36th player in the program history to score a thousand points. So to be honest with you, he had a pretty damn good college career. Next thing you know, he's a senior at Penn State, and he has to declare for the 2019 NBA Draft, but sadly, he went undrafted, but luckily, he was picked up by the Dallas Mavericks in the Summer League, and he absolutely killed it in the Summer League. He averaged 12.6 points a game, along with 4.8 rebounds, and 2.4 assists, and 1.2 steals, and 1 block in 23.5 minutes per game. So he pretty much did it all, and he actually earned himself a two-way contract. So congrats to him. Let's give him a round of applause. And of course, we gotta hear his reaction to signing an NBA contract. He said in an interview, This means so much to me, knowing all the hard work I have put in throughout middle school, high school, and college, it's all paying off. I know it's not the end of the journey. I know the hard work is not going to stop by any means. This is a step in the right direction. I'm really blessed to have this opportunity and going to try to make the most of it. So as you can tell from that quote, he is excited to get to work in the NBA, and I wish him the best of luck. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, check out other sideline stories. And I'm official Rom 2.0 if you want to check me out on YouTube. But anyway, I'll see you guys later. Have a great day.